that you do not refuse him who speaks. If they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, yes. how much less will we if we turn away from him who warns us from heaven? At that time he's worshipped the earth, but now he has promised once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. Yes. The words once more indicate the removing of what can be shaken, yes. that is created. That is created things, so that what cannot be shaken may remain. Mm. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, yes. let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. Hallelujah. For our God is a consuming fire. Father, this morning we come to you in Jesus' name. Yes. The name that is above every other name. Yes. That at the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. every knee shall bow. Hallelujah. And every tongue confess yes. that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes. And Jesus Christ is Lord to the putting down of strongholds. Amen. And so this morning, Father, we want to praise and worship yes. We want to say, Father, take your glory, Lord, Jesus. because it belongs to you. Because your word says, we two or three are gathered in my name, there am I. Yes. And so we know that you're in our midst this morning, Holy my Spirit. Yes. And Holy Spirit, the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead yeah. dwells yes. in me. Amen. And so, Holy Spirit, as you work through my spirit, yes. take your glory, God. take your glory, because it belongs to you Jesus in Jesus' name. name. Amen. The word of God speaks to us this morning about superiority over the new life in Christ Jesus, Amen. having it over the old life. In other words, we have an advantage in the new life that we have in Christ Jesus yes. over the old life. Yes. Amen. And so many times we don't realize that we are superior to sin, mm -hmm. that we are superior to the devil, yes. that we are superior to everything that is not of the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. when we belong to him. That's right. When we say that we are a child of God, Amen. when we say that we are friends of God, mm -hmm. we are superior to what we've come out of. Amen. And the word of God so nicely says it is to get rid of man-made things that are created in our lives mm. that cannot last. Yes. So many times you and I create our own man-made things that cannot last. That's right. We come into the church and we have an expectation of the pastor. Yeah. We had an expectation up here of the pastor. Yes. And that's not what he is like. Yes. Or that's not what she is like. And so we find after a while that this is not before, and this is not before, and, and we're shaken. Mm. And we leave here, and we run to another church where the same devil is. Yeah. And it's not actually the devil, it's you that is cruel, that created these shaken things in your yes. life. It's you leaving here and going somewhere else. Mm. It's you thinking thoughts that is not of the Lord. Mm. Yes. But you don't realize that you have an advantage over your mind. That's because right. the word of God says that we need to renew our mind daily yes. in yes. the word of God. Yes. The word of God says we need to get into his word. Yes. We need to read his word to fill our minds and to fill our emotions mm. and to fill everything that is not of the Lord. You see, emotions, God has given us emotions. Amen. And we need to go through every motion of our emotions. Amen. But when it's your emotion, mm. it is shaken. Yes. When it is your emotion, it breaks you down. That's right. When it is your emotion, you cannot get rid of man-made created things. Mm -hmm. Man-made created things never lost. That's right. You go to That's any man-made created church. You're not allowed to eat pork. He's not there. I'll eat the pork. I, I come across people. You're not allowed to wear jeans. You're not allowed to drink coffee. Drink your coffee and wear your jeans. He can't see you. Yeah. Man-made created things. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to get married, you know, uh -uh, but you mess with the same sex. Yes. Man made created things. Yes. Never lost. It always breaks down. Mm. And then it takes you with and it breaks you down. Yeah. Yeah. The, Lord of, the Word of God says we need to get into enduring things. Yeah. And what does the Word of God say in 1 Peter 1 25? But the Word of the Lord stands forever. Yes. And this Word that was preached to you. Amen. None of us can say that we've never heard the word of God be right. preached to us. Sunday after Sunday, yes. we have a short, definite word that our pastor preaches. Amen. Sunday after Sunday, 
None of us can say that we leave here and we get man to no, no, no. He spoke about the word. Mm. He gave you the word. Yes. And so you see, it's your choice. Yes. It's your decision. Mm. You want to take God of the man-made created things? You want your emotions to take you down and destroy you? Mm. Because that's not the picture you have at the, of the man or the woman. None of us can have a picture of each other. Yes. Jesus has got a picture of you and me. Amen. And he knows what he wants to see in that picture of our lives. Amen. And if I'm going to look at Pastor, and I'm going to look at Pastor Calvin, and Pastor Saul, and all the other people here, I'm going to go down. Yes. I'm going to go down. I'm never going to rise above. Yes. You know, and so I like what the word of God says. He says, Therefore, in other words, for that reason, That's right. we need for therefore means for that reason as well, we need to worship God acceptably. Amen. Why? Because we are we receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Amen. Every other so-called kingdom has been shaken. That's right. Amen. Amen. But our kingdom, Amen. the kingdom of God, yes. whom we have received, yes. cannot be shaken. Amen. So you and I should not be shaken. Yes, we are human. Yes. Yes, we get tired. Yes. yes, we get shaken, yes. but not shaken to the point of destroying. Mm. Yes. Shaken to the point where we run to the one who cannot be shaken. Amen. And we speak to that person that cannot be shaken. Amen. And we say, my God, you know, so many years is this song, but Lord, you, you, you work it out for me. Amen. You were, the two of us had a good laugh when we sang goodbye, pain, goodbye, sorrow. She pointed to me and I pointed to her. <laughs> goodbye, sorrow, and she pointed to me, goodbye, pain. But God, I shook many a time. And as many a time that I said to Calvin, I'm on crutches, I'm in the wheelchair. Take me to where she stays, man. Then you drop me. When she come back, I want to eat her. Then I'm going to run away. <laughs> I can't run at all. I was shaken. But I wasn't brought down. Amen. Amen. And after being shaken, I would say, Lord, you know, please forgive me, but I'm so angry. I would tell the Lord, I'm so angry, and I'm so tired. And Lord God bless the paper and the children, and but I'm not taken down. Amen. Amen. Until God, the one who's never been shaken, yes. brought her yes. up. Hallelujah. And so the longer you stay shaken and run to the one that is not shaken, yes. you're going to find mm. that you're going to come up and out in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Yes, right. Yes. And so the word of God so beautiful it says, pleasing God, you cannot be shaken. Yes. Amen. When you please the Lord, mm. and we're not perfect. Yeah. And we don't please Him every day yeah. mm. because we have thoughts. Yes. And one thing I always say, Lord, man, you know, why do you know our thoughts? Mm. Because a lot of times I don't talk with but I think up here, then I think, oh, well, you knew already what you were going to think. Yeah. It's, it's weird for me that he knows our thoughts, man. You know, yes. if, he, if he only could hear what we say, but uh, he created me. Mm. Yes. He created me to have a relationship with him. Amen. And my daughter preached at a woman's service on Wednesday, <laughs> and, and she threw me when she said, you know, there's a scripture that says that God, who has started a new thing in you, will complete it to the end. Yes. And she said, but God, he didn't start a new thing in me because he delivered me from 22 years of drugging. He started a beautiful in me thing in me when I was created in my mother's womb. Amen. Amen. But I'm the one that Amen. went astray. Yes. Amen. And so many times, people, he has created us. Yes. He knows exactly who we are. He knew you by name before you were in your mother's Amen. womb. Amen. My mother was going to name me Jemima, but thank <laughs> God she didn't. And she called me Joy. I don't like that name, Jemima. But you know what? When we please God, mm. it says so beautifully in John 8, 29, the one who sent me is with me. Yes. yes. He, he has not left me alone. That's right. For I always do what pleases him. Amen. You see, when you please God, I'm not saying you treasure man, raise the dead, raise the uh, you, 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 what's comfortable for you. Yes. I always say have a one-on-one -on -one cultivated relationship with the Lord. What's pleasing for you? I I I I I Fast twice a week, I won't say what day is. And so I struggle. I mean, now the other day with first my fasting, I ate the acre. And I said, Oh Lord, I'm supposed to fast, but I'm so sorry. I can't resist this food that he made. And I had another bit of food. And after that, I said, Come, isn't it chocolate? And I knew, Lord, so you're going overboard now. But you know what? 
God sees it and He knows the heart. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. But, but I'm not going to do the cake because then I'm doing it on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> that was just a slip when I did that. Yes. But God sees the heart. Yeah. Yeah. And He knows how you really want to serve Him. Yeah. That's right. And what you really want to do that pleases Him. We as grandparents and as parents, we have to play pray doubly hard for our children and our grandchildren. That's right. And you know, we, at odd times I would pray. And I don't know what I'm praying for. And I just say, Father, the blood of Jesus of the Sodica. Lord, now it's Frankie Jr. Lord, then there's Raul. Uh, and Father, then be with Ashika. Then be with it's my late son's children. Uh, and be with um, Azar, the other boy. And I don't know what and for what. And yesterday, Sodica said, you know, more. I want to share testimony with you. The Uber picked up and the taxi drivers stopped him. And she said, Mom, you don't answer a taxi driver. You just keep quiet. And he said, give me your phone or give me 3,500. Or we burn the car. And she says, the Uber driver took out 3,500 and he gave it. And the taxi driver said, now you get out and you walk. She said, Mom, I had a skip in my walk when I walked just to get around the corner. But you know what? He could have taken her, her yeah. phone. But God. Amen. But God. And so I want to encourage you, do what is pleasing to God. Yes. Sometimes we want to please our husband or we want to please our wives or we want to please our children. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. It's just there where we can lose it. Mm. Do what pleases God and he will be with you. Yes. And you won't be shaken yes. because the Holy Spirit will be with you all the time. God's kingdom is a right is of righteousness yes. that cannot be shaken. Amen. It cannot. He says so beautifully in Psalm 51, 10, creating me a clean heart, yes. O God, mm. and renew a steadfast spirit mm. within me. Yes. A steadfast spirit. Not a shaky spirit. Not a wobbling spirit. Yes. A steadfast mm. spirit. Yeah. And the only way you can stay steadfast in your spirit is if you have a one-on-one -on -one cultivated relationship with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Speak to Him at any time. Mm. Yeah. Speak Amen. to Him all the time. Mm. Yeah. You can do washing, you can do what, mm. and you're talking up here to Him. You don't have to speak out loud. He's hearing you. Amen. That's right. He knows what you say. Yes. He understands where you're coming from. Yes. Whether you speak proper English or broken English. Why I can't speak Afrikaans, I'm going to speak the wrong words in Afrikaans. Whether or not what you speak, God knows your thoughts. Amen. He knows your heart. Mm. Yes. And that is why it is good to have a relationship with the righteous King of Kings. Amen. Then the word of God goes on to say, because we serve a kingdom that is not being shaken, we need to reverence God. Yeah. Amen. Don't just take him for granted. Yeah. No, oh, God will come through for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. God will come through for you, but you go out <coughs> of him. Yeah. That's a word. Amen. Amen. You come through for him, he comes through for you. Mm. Amen. You know, you, you, you ugly with your husband. He's never ugly with me. Your husband will be ugly back with you. But I'm, I'm sometimes, eh, my copy, I can't and then I say the wrong. But, you know, it's what you give off, you get back. Yeah. Yes. Whatsoever you sow, that's what you reap. Mm. And so we need to be so careful with our lives. So careful with our mouths. Mm. Yes. So careful what we say. Mm. Even what we think about the person mm. because God is aware of what's happening. Yes. He knows what's happening. And that's why he says in Psalm 4 verse 4, in your anger, do not sin. Amen. When you are on your bed, search your heart yes. and be silent. Amen. That's reverencing God. That's saying, Amen. what if I do to that? I like to look in the mirror, but then I first tell myself I'm pretty. If I ah. ask the Lord, what did I do that? <laughs> And so God knows how he made me. There's only one that's like me, amen. And so, reverencing by searching your heart at night. Yes, you know, yes. he says, do not sin in your anger. That's right. When you get angry, you lose it. And there's a lot of things you say. That's why I like to bite on my teeth and say, you know what? She's a blessing to me. Yes. And then I say, yeah, oh my. Up here, I say, yeah, oh my. I just go every time here I me because I help me. I help me. But I'd rather bite on my teeth than what I say something else. Because yes. I can say it very easily. Very easily I can say it. But God. Amen. You know, I'm saying but God. I asked people in Cape Town to pray for me this morning. My cousin phoned me and said, look, if you preach and you don't say but God, then it's not the message at you. So I said, okay, Pat. So I must tell her I did say it. But then again, 
not only reverence but godly fear. The question we need to ask is, what is godly fear? Yes. What is godly fear? Matthew six thirty three says, but everything pushed aside. That's right. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Amen. Amen. And Amen. that is godly fear. Yes. When you come before the Lord first and seek His kingdom that cannot be shaken. Amen. That's why you and I should not be shaken. Because we serve a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Amen. And so when we come before him, he says so beautifully, you know, the word but God is a game changer. That's right. He says God has not given you a spirit of fear, but help with the fear. Yeah. A spirit of love and of power and of a sound mind. Amen. A game changer when we say but God. Yes. A real game changer. Amen. And so he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. Yes. And that's what we need to do, is to seek God's kingdom Amen. about Amen. everything and anything. Amen. And I wanted a little puppy and I asked the Lord, Lord, can I, is it okay for me to get the puppy because sometimes I can't walk, sometimes I can't tramp on my heel. And I said, oh, Lord, oh, he's there, so he will help me with a puppy. And he is helping me with a puppy. But ask God about everything. Amen. And you know, it might sound stupid to you. Yeah. But let it sound stupid to you. Yeah. Yes. Because our God that we serve, that cannot be shaken. Yes. That's not stupid. Yes. That created you in your mother's womb. Mm. Yes. That you knew you by name before you were born. Yes. That has a plan and a purpose for your yes. life. Yes. That has called you into salvation Amen. for his glory. Yes. It's not stupid to him. Mm. Yes. It's not stupid to him. Yes. He will answer you. He'll give you a sign and he'll give you a direction. Amen. And then he ends off by saying, for our God, for my God, he says, God is a consuming fire. And you know, the symbol, the fire is a symbol of God's presence and his power. Yeah. Now, we might not experience um, fire, but we experience his power and we experience his presence. Amen. You know when you're in the presence of the Lord. That's right. I feel it here in my spirit when I sit up two, three in the morning and I talk to him. And I feel I can shout for Jesus. And I talk to him. And you can feel there's a moving. Yes. Not a shaking of breaking down, but a shaking, bringing together. Yes. You can feel his presence. Amen. You see his power Wednesday after Wednesday in the spray tower. Yes. You experience God's power. Amen. The power that you and I don't have. Yes. But we receive through the Holy Spirit. Amen. See, so many times you say, no, uh, Give me a fresh anointing, and Lord, uh, 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 the, uh, and, and Lord, you know, I need your power. You know the same spirit that raised us from the dead? Yes. Dwells in you, sitting there, that Amen. love Jesus, and Amen. dwells in me. Yes. It's a spirit to spirit. Yes. It's not a spirit to flesh, yes. or spirit to emotions, yes. or spirit to mind thinking. It's a spirit to spirit. Yes. And so when the Holy Spirit takes a hold of your spirit, because the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, something must happen. Amen. Amen. You lay your hands on your child, something must happen. Amen. I thought I'll never be here this morning. All hell broke loose from last night up to this morning. Yes. He became terribly ill. He got up from the bed and he was drunk and wasn't drunk in the spirit. He was ill and he was sick. And, and then his sugar level stopped, started uh, uh, dropping. And then Junior came to me and Junior said something to me and disturbed me. And right through the night, I've been praying. Right through the night. But God. Amen. You see, he thinks he can shake us to the point of destroying. Yes. But he's a liar in Jesus. Amen. Yes. And I want you to understand, we do not serve a kingdom that is shaken. Yes. We serve a kingdom that is not shaken. Amen. By nothing, not by Islam, not by Catholicism, not by Buddhism. Nothing shakes our kingdom that we serve. Amen. Amen. Because he's the almighty God. Yes, he is. Then Acts 2 verse 3 says so beautifully. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. This Paul says, they were filled with the Holy Spirit yes. and began to speak in, an, in other tongues. Mm -hmm. And uh, for, for the Spirit enabled them. Yes. For the Spirit enabled them. That's right, amen. Who's enabling you and I? The Spirit. 
is an end in the two of us. Nothing else but the Holy Spirit. Yes. And so if you don't know Jesus this morning, That's right. and you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you come forward and we're going to lead you to the Lord. Yes. It, it, it's good to know Jesus. That's right. It's good to serve the Lord. Yes. You know, you, you're alone. You might be married and have a wonderful partner, and your partner encourages you. You know, there's many times he encourages me. There's many times he chastises me. And I try and close my ears, but I can't lock my ears off. Do you know what? You're still alone. It's only Jesus. Amen. It's only Jesus my that's going to take you from point A to point B. Yes. There comes a time when you're so alone, and your back is up against the wall. Yes. Like mine was during the night. My back was up against the wall. I had to advance through troops. Mm. And I'm telling you, the only person I could call on was Jesus. Yes. Yes. No one else but Jesus and kept laying my hands on him and praying for him. Kept laying my hands on him and praying for him because I saw this was, he can't play praise and worship this morning and I was rubbish. I serve a kingdom that's not shaken. Yes. And he's never going to shake us to the point of down. The devil can shake us, but he's not going to huff and puff and get my house down. Yes. Amen. No, Amen. not. And so if you don't know Jesus this morning and you want to give your heart to Jesus, you come. Other than that, I want to pray for the person who's been troubled with their kidneys. And, and your kidney pains and it stops and it pains, but you know it's your kidney. And your, your urine is a very funny color. You come forward this morning and I want to pray with you. Amen. And God's going to heal you. Amen. And then I want to pray for the person who, who has got experiencing headaches and it's your blood pressure. And, and, you know, you trust in the Lord and you believe in the Lord. But still, your blood pressure is playing up and down with you. You come, people. I want to pray with you and God's going to heal you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there's a person in the, pla in the place that's, that's had a nightmare and that's one, you know, there's more nightmares that wants to, to follow. You come and I want to pray with you and God's going to release you from those nightmares. Yes. So yeah. come and we play a song. And you come and God's going to touch you. And please, I want to tell you now, if you don't come now, don't come to me after the service. I'm not going to pray for you. God is busy with you now. Okay? Not after the service when I'm in the car. When I go home to my family. Okay. The left one. Come stand here. Father, turn this way. Father, I come to you in Jesus' name. Oh, Holy Spirit, the name that is above it.